what is meant by homeostasis a condition in which the internal environment of the body remains relatively constant despite the changes in external environment what is the main endocrine organ which regulates homeostasis pituitary gland what are the hormones secreted by anterior pituitary and what are the functions of them adrenocorticotrophic hormones stimulate the cortex of the adrenal gland to secrete the steroid hormone principally the cortisol growth hormone regulates the growth and metabolism luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone act on ovaries and testes to stimulate the sex hormone production and the maturation of eggs and sperms prolactin stimulate the milk production thyroid stimulating hormone stimulate the thyroid gland to secrete thyroid hormones what happens to the hormone secretions with the pituitary stalk damage pituitary damage causes suppression of all anterior pituitary hormones except prolactin there is a hyper secretion of prolactin why secretion of prolactin is increased normally the prolactin secretion is tonically inhibited by the hypothalamus which secretes prolactin inhibiting hormone with the pituitary stalk damage that inhibition is lost so it leads to increase in circulating prolactin what are the consequences of prolactinoma subfertility decreased libido galactorrhea effects in male erectile dysfunction decreased sperm count what about females they can develop oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea what would be the levels of other pituitary hormones in this condition luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone levels will decrease what is the most important surrounding structure affected optic chiasma so what is the result by temporal hemianopia tell me the pathway of optic nerve absence of ganglionic cells of retina forms optic nerve optic nerve leaves the retina at optic disc and enter the optic canal fibers from nasal part of the retina crosses at optic chiasma then the fibers pass through optic tract majority of the fibers in optic tract pass to the lateral geniculate body of the thalamus and to the visual cortex small number of fibers pass to the pretractal nucleus of midbrain what happens when optic tract is damaged if the optic tract of the left side is damaged right sided homonymous hemianopia occurs and if the right sided optic tract is damaged left sided homonymous hemianopia occurs what is the area related to the vision visual cortex of occipital lobe what is the number given to this area broadman area 17 what is accommodation accommodation is a process by which the curvature of the eye lens is increased when the eye is focused to a near object what happens in there light wave from the object stimulates the photoreceptors in the retina the generated action potentials will pass to the visual cortex of the occipital lobe then to the frontal eye field from there fibers pass to both ocular motor nuclei it will cause to contract the medial rectus muscle resulting the convergence of ocular axis and some fibers pass to the edinga vestibular nuclei of both sides and then to the ciliary ganglion and then contract ciliary muscles and constrict the pupillae muscles thickening of the lens which increase the refractive power of the lens when constrict the pupillae muscles contract there will be a pupillary constriction which restrict the light to the central portions of the lens what are the photoreceptors in retina rod and cones what happens when a light is directed to an eye pupils of the both eyes are constricted what is it called light reflexes okay what is the consensual light reflex 
when light is directed to one eye, the pupil of the other eye constricts. Tell me a metabolic disease that can damage retina. Diabetes mellitus. How? Due to the irreversible non-enzymatic glycation of proteins of the retinal vessel walls, the retinal vessels become rigid and less expansible, which leads to the aneurysms that ultimately give rise to hemorrhages. This condition results retinal hypoxia and neovascularization, which further increase the risk of aneurysms and hemorrhages. This is the retinopathy occur in diabetes mellitus. It can ultimately lead to poor vision and blindness. Tell me another complication related to diabetes mellitus that may cause poor vision. Cataract formation in the eye lens. Can you explain it? With hyperglycemia, excess glucose enters to the eye lens. The glucose is converted to the sorbitol by aldose reductase enzyme. With hyperglycemia, its affinity to the glucose also rises. But in the eye lens, sorbitol dehydrogenase enzyme is deficient. So, sorbitol can't further metabolize into fructose. Sorbitol accumulates in the eye lens. Increased sorbitol cannot cross the cell membrane. So, osmotic Stress is increased in the eye lens. It drags water. It changes the solubility of the lens protein and liquefaction of lens fibers leading to the cataract formation. Also, increased glucose levels can glycate proteins producing advanced glycated end products. It will change the vascular permeability, cell proliferation and capillary structure. It also contributes to the cataract formation.